All right, first off, welcome back to more Rise of the Ronin. We're like the third video, but man, I've had a lot of fun covering this game. The game just keeps expanding. Like every video, we learn like so much more about the game. So I'm excited to see more. I appreciate the like support. Let's go ahead and get this. And we're back. All right, so here's what I'm currently working on. We're about to do the next main mission, by the way. Uh, so this game has like a list of types of missions. So we got all in progress available. And I guess this is kind of like the story stuff. Now they have different levels. So I don't really know exactly, I mean, does it really matter? It feels like if you're stealthy, you could almost one hit besides like the leader of each area. Equipment, so I went in and like farmed a little bit back in the first area. I didn't change much. I did get these though. Uh, I do think it's kind of cool. So you can actually see the special effects if you have like two pieces. If Here's what's crazy. With a two piece set, you get two perks, which is crazy. Then you get one for three and then one for four. Uh, stats, nothing else. I got one strength point. So I think I was confused at the end of the last video. I was like, or at least some point during part two where I was like, can you combine the actual points with the skill points? And they use different ones. So like the symbol here is two skill points. And this one, you have to have the strength point. So that's where that kind of, man, like some of these cost a lot. Anyways, let's keep it moving. This should be the next main objective. Let me actually, unless it goes to a cutscene here. Hold on. Let me activate this first if I can. Somebody said this game looks worse than Ghost of Tsushima. Here's what I'll say. It is rough around the edges, but I enjoy it for what it is. It's a brand new open world samurai game. It plays like Neo. Doesn't seem as difficult as some of those games. Now, maybe some of the boss fights later will be, but we'll kind of just have to wait and see, really. Here we go. It's a little rundown, but pretty spacious inside. You can keep a change of clothes or anything you'd like here. I hope you'll find it useful. So it's like a little shop area? Hold on. Longhouse. Alright, Longhouse is something brand new already. We're like, what, two hours plus in? We're still finding brand new things. Okay. Try to give them gifts. Okay. It's like a gotcha game where you give people gifts. It's kind of strange. Yeah. Alright. For it's a samurai bad. game, it's different. Together like this. What is housekeeping? Storage? Okay. You can access it through the banner as well. Got you. I'm actually not going to store anything because I did go and sell like all the extra armor I had. Uh, let's relax. Redesign? Really? Oh, okay. So this game does have transmog. I'm guessing that's what this is. Got you. This is awesome. I kind of like this one. For this one, let's see what else we got. Torso set. I'm not going to mess with this too much right now. I could I could be here for hours. Go with that one, I guess. So it's pretty much an entire set. Got you. Arm protection. Armor set. Hold on. We only got the one. Uh, No, let's actually go ahead. See, so it can actually have favorites as well. That's pretty cool that that's in the game. I had no idea that was even going to exist. Uh, talk, timeline, exit. All right. Right. Let's go. Pretty handy, right? You can use it how you like. I'll pop in every now and then. From now on, I'll tell everyone that this is where we're staying. <laughs> that should make things a little livelier. Well... That's it for you and me tonight. But I'm going to keep searching for leads on Master Showing's location. You know the Fallout and like Skyrim, like those types of games, like the graphics weren't the best, but the gameplay was fun. That's kind of what this feels like. It's not as like narrow as polished. I guess like the comparison I would make is like Genshin Impact is like this, and then Honkai Star Rail will be like Neo, where it's not open world. Because that game, you can't really go a lot of places. Whereas Genshin, it's like... It's like Zelda. You just go wherever you want. You know? Come on. No need to get all polite. Think nothing of it. I know you've got my back, too. Ah, oh, wait a second. I wanted to give you this. A watch? It's a pocket watch. Now you can check the time anytime. Hope you don't mind that it's slightly used. I think you'll still find it handy. Well, see you around. I wonder if we can like change the time of day. Hold on. Uh, switch between your styles. 
Switching styles, okay. Menu equipment, besides having different martial skill. So I just want you to like... Okay, I see. So you're equip... I thought this was... I don't know why I thought that was actually the... So this is a stance and everything more than it is and all that. I thought this was the actual ability we're using, because anytime I press square, I just think of it right there. Because if you look below that, the square is right there. Maybe it is. I don't know. All right. Photographic studio. Where's it at? Uh, vendor. Let's see what we can do here. Don't rush. Buy Take equipment. I will time. never buy equipment in this game unless there's like an in-game vendor. I think I'm good on everything else. <laughs> yeah, I went and sold. If you see yeah, like all the weapons I did have, they're gone. <laughs> I kept all the accessories because I don't really know what's good. Now, some stuff I'll keep equipped even if it's worse. Finish. Only because... I want to try something really quick. Hold on. I saw a video clip of somebody, like, latching onto the top of a building. And then flying. And I really want to do that. <laughs> but I don't know how. What is this? Welcome. What do you need? Buy equipment. Oh, my. Hold on. Uh, you know what? I just said I was not going to buy anything. And I saw this and immediately I was about to press X. <laughs> it costs way too much. You know, I'm wondering. So, equipment level 6. Man, I would love to own this. But that is a... Pretty major silk. Okay. Upgrade. I don't want to upgrade anything I currently have because I don't know what like, the best stuff is in the game. Alright. We're you chilling. Later. Something to look forward to. I always go to do that. Okay, let me try this one. I'm just... Hold on. Let me see if I can actually like fly. There's things like later on in the we game that you can get. Very dubious items in well, let's see. Or you can, like, latch and just shoot Why? across. It's going to be, like, Dying door. Light 2, kind of. I just want to, like, test that out. Oh, are you? What are you doing here? You look shady to me. Out with it. Who are you? We're under strict orders from Lord E to arrest anyone suspicious. All right, so we need to actually get in that persuasion stuff going on because we got both things locked. Oh, uh, let's try this first one. <gasps> You're out of line. It's time to teach you a lesson. Time to fight. Kagushiro. Ow. I like this game a lot. It's not as polished as like a Ghost of Tsushima and everything, but I I love it. Just because it's exactly what I was expecting, you know? I wasn't taken back by it or anything. Thanks. That was a big help. Can we talk? I owe you. Those nitwits. They think cameras are some kind of weapon. I'd like to give you a demonstration. But I'm afraid my camera is broken. It means I can't earn a living. How is it, Igashichi? Got it working again? I'm afraid not. Without the schematic, I'm at the end of my rope. Ugh, curse those dumped thieves. Are you serious? This isn't good. Those thags have no idea of the value of what they've stolen. But I can hardly just go and ask for them back. Uh, wait. Is that my glider prototype you have there? You managed to get it back from those thieves. Most impressive. Could it work? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, but it might. I can see it all in my head. The perfect plan. I need those schematics back. And if you help me, I'll give you a camera. Sound good? Might as well, right? A clear and rational response. You must have the inventor's spirit. Those thieves have a base in the Mitre Castle ruins. But we can't just stroll straight in. Head to the temple hall nearby. Oh, dear. <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igashichi Izuka. 
Back home in Hitachi, I'm known as Igashichi the Tinkerer. Well, I shall see you there. Dear me, it seems he's fired up once again. Well, please do what you can to help him. What was that? Someone is in trouble. Hold on. How far away is this say? Hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay. The Bad Bunch. The Black Jewel Level 4. What is this one? Stolen Statue. I kind of want to get some of these other fast travel points just because... Wait, I don't have this one. Oh, it is right here. Never mind. Raise the banner. Nice. There's like loadouts in this game too. There's so much to take in. I'm kind of just like... Level 10. I can't even do that yet. There's a cat right here. Yeah, it's a lot of side stuff I want to check out, but I'm going to get too sidetracked. I got, hold on, what does it say? Public order must be restored. Interesting. So, I'm guessing you have to actually work on that towards the area before you can actually do anything else. There's also a stable right there. Alright, let's just start head this way. Let's just get on our horse and just roll out. Keep forgetting I don't have to be like in the open water. This is like the entire game is just that. <laughs> this is... I already got all that. Okay, we're chilling. You know, it's wild because this game kind of started off kind of slow. I thought it was going to be more like a narrow experience. And then it's almost like it just opens up right when you get past the prologue. It's like the title screen. I'm like, we can go anywhere? <laughs> this is awesome. I should have collected... Oh, so these you don't actually have to hit. You just loot them, which is kind of strange, I guess. I have auto-looting turned on just to make it easier. I think it turned to the same setting on in like a lot of games, like The Last of Us 2 most recently. Just so I can have stuff for later without having to spam and accidentally jumping off the horse, you know? What are those, like little kites? Hold on. Trying to avoid fighting. Now, if I have to, I will. Let me get this banner. Hold on. Probably have to fight for it, though. No, we're chilling. All right. So as long as you actually activate it, you don't have to... Wait, what just happened? Okay. Public order level three. Should I try this? Let's give it a shot. It's level three. Might be a little tougher, but we'll place a marker there. Let's give it a shot. With this type of game, I'll try anything, you know, if it pops up for the first time. Even if it's, like, not a side thing. It's kind of nice because most of the games I've played recently... Hold on, this has to be something. It's a shrine, right? Do I get anything for actually interacting? Oh, let's see. Pray. Okay. It's just got to be something you, like, collect for the area. We got a skill point for doing that. Where are the other ones at? <laughs> Let me go ahead and just see what we got. Okay, I'm going to start saving these because here's what I'm trying to work towards. I'll actually show you. Uh, where's it at? So there's this one right here. It costs two strength points. But to have like an extra one would be so nice. Let me see the area. Okay, so that's one of the one shrine. Okay, and you find the cats. I think it's cool. Each section has something to work towards. You can get skill points. You get items. And then you also can get, like, a bunch of other stuff. Alright. Pretty much the bond for everything. You just want to, like, max those out. If I wasn't recording, I would probably stay in the first area until it's 100% and then move to the next. And I would just keep doing that. But I don't want to, like, you know... I don't want to make it to where people, uh... Is there anyone with confidence in their martial I wish that I would skills? just play the story. Are we able to fight here? Or is this just like... Because I saw the little icon, and I don't remember exactly what that even means, but I'm assuming if I walk out in front of them, they're going to, like, be activated. Here we go. No? Well, now, a glance is enough to tell me you're made of a stern stuff. Would you care to give my pupil a lesson? Uh, training exercise. Let's do it. Are you ready? Begin! Ho! 
So the style is a lot different now. Nice. Come on. Ow. The thing is, I want to go back to the other one. Because I feel like... And the other one was ineffective, but this is actually better. Oh god, I might die here. All that stuff on the screen, please move. Okay. There's too much to like that text on the screen. They could easily like make that smaller because that was way too much. Well done. Here's something for your troubles. It seems my pupil still has some ways to go. Let's get it. Alright. We're chilling. Oh, the thing's right here, by the way. I could get the horse out, I guess. Hold on. Alright, so this is gonna be a hostile spot, so... We could try to just, like, unlock it by... Actually, I don't know. We'll just have to fight everybody, I feel like. Yeah, it's kind of funny how most games have, like, a bird's eye view type thing you can do. This game does not. I'm just going to let him spot me. I'll go for, like, the first kill, and then... This is definitely, like, the leader. So it's not going to kill, but here we go. <laughs> Boss here. It's actually crazy. Wait, 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 hold on. What's going on? I'm trying. Hold on. This is not a 1v1. Not sure if I can actually approach this this way. I might run for it really quick. Hold on. If I could just one on one the actual boss, I would just do that. Probably dead here. Oh God! Yeah, I'm 100% dead here. The fact that they're all just after me. Hold on, I'm out of here. I'll come back later to be continued. My goodness. I want to fight him, but it's like maybe I still can't. Hold on, <laughs> this might be kind of weird, but I'm going. What if I hold on? I did a lot of damage when I assassinated the first time. I wonder if I can actually sneak up since he's all the way out here. That's one way to do it, I guess. And I'm out of combat when I left. That's kind of a way to cheese that I... I guess that's the way to do it, <laughs> you know. So this stance is like ineffective, so if I just want to like swap over, that'd be the way to do it. Oh god! Got a grab animation that didn't kill me. Get it done. There was still one more person, right? Hold on. I didn't think about just running away and then... Because the game is not overly... Yeah, there's not... We need one more. Hold on. Oh, they're right here. Oh, they're up there. Never mind. Just test this out. So if I want to like change to this, yeah, it shows it's actually better. But I'm like struggling because the movements are a little different. I would have died right there had I not blocked that. That has to be everybody, right? I barely survived that, which is kind of scary. 
It's like the game heard me talking smack about it. <laughs> like, this game's not that tough. Alright, we got a lot of skill points. I'll start using them here in a minute, but for right now, I'm gonna kind of just keep it going. Alright, so we replenished those. We're chilling. That was cool. Alright, so we got that one unlocked. Okay, so we got one along the way. What I may do is just kind of tackle stuff as we're going there. I don't want to get too sidetracked, but I also don't want to... Yeah, let me just start marking stuff, because I feel like this area is something we should definitely check out. I keep thinking about in Ghost of Tsushima, you can have, like, the standoffs. Like a pack of enemies just kind of like roaming around. How you doing? Alright, we got a spot right here. Let's see. We can climb up that. Activate it. Wait, can you get in the water with your horse? No. There's so many things I want to do in combat that I'm just not quite... Hold on, can I even climb this? That's not even the right thing, Brad. Hold on. <laughs> Remove that. So why is this even here? I guess just for decoration. Yeah, this is all the way up here. We're still going the right way for the actual main objective, which is kind of my goal. I'm kind of sticking like the critical path, but I will get sidetracked. That's why these videos will be like an hour each, hopefully. That's the goal right now, at least. So we got target practice in front of us. Did it... Did it activate? Oh, it didn't. Hold on. There we go. I was confused for a minute. Let me just start using some of these points. I have a lot of uh, skill points. Okay, so I want to get this, but I need more of that. Uh, let's see what else. Critical hits, one of three. I don't want to spend too much there, but I feel like it would be nice to have more. What else we got? Dexterity, anything like that? Charm. When I first saw the CHR, I thought about Charisma. I didn't really know if, like, they would abbreviate it like that or not. I feel like this column definitely needs to be... Oh, my goodness. Look at that. The fact that you can do a rope assassination is insane. That's actually wild. Okay. Well, we'll save the other points. I don't want to spend it wherever. Uh, I mean, we could go the route of... Yeah, I mean, like, this column might be the play because, yeah, I actually need those points, though, because I don't, I don't know how you actually get those. I know how, like, to get skill points is, like, one thing, but, hmm. Let's we'll keep the rest. All right, so we've already seen all this stuff. We got a blacksmith. That's the target practice thing. I'm good there. Let's see what's for sale really quick. 30,000. Paired swords. Okay. Now, this stuff is higher, but... You know, I'm tempted to buy this. Like I said, I wasn't going to, but... The price on these isn't bad. But I feel like... Ugh, this stuff's just going to be a waste of money. It's almost like renting, I feel like. I hate renting things. <laughs> I really do. Because I know that, like, down the road, I'll get... I'll probably do, like, a story mission to get, like, a better thing. I probably got something better right there. All right, let's start headed over here. I want to take down this target if I can. And just go from there. We'll keep headed that direction. I know you can have, like, multiple, I guess, quick slots. Looks like there's 12 total. I'm never going to go past, like, the first three unless I, like, have a build, probably. All right, so let's see what's down here. Looks like another camp. Okay. Uh... I wish I could, like, mark the enemies. Probably go for this first person here. Hold on. So, because I'm in a different stance, that actually does more damage. That's so strange. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm not going to ask questions. This person's right here. So, there's two major enemies in this area. Or two major foes, I guess. They're gonna see me, that's fine. They did not see me, okay, we're chilling. So I wonder if I could do more damage with assassinations as long as I'm like in the right 
Uh, is this the actual enemy, or is that like a captured person? Hold on. Bird's eye view. Yeah, that person's like captured or whatever. Oh, that person's hanging. They're already dead. Um, so where is like... Oh, wait a minute. Sometimes I feel like the icons don't quite... I'm tempted to actually like try to go around and get like a stealth hit on one of them. Let's just see. If I can even do that, we'll find out. That's fine. I mean, if I get like a 1v1, I'll take it all day. Brain all, let's go. Wait, what? Over here, buddy. You know you want to fight. Imagine they just forget about me. Hold on. I'm going for it. How did they like... I'm confused. It's all good. Fake out there. Hold on. Alright, fighting alongside captive Rona. Okay. So they've been captured essentially, got you. First one down, nice. Let's get it, baby. We can actually save them. That's a cool armor set. So this game has multiplayer, and I don't think I'll ever try it, but it is kind of cool that it's even an option, you know? Let me take this off the map because we don't really need that anymore. We kind of know what we're doing here, so we're chilling. I feel like I want to do like a high up assassination here. Like, can I climb this? Like, I wish you could just, like, double jump or something, even though it's not realistic. <laughs> oh, God. That's a lot of damage for that first hit. Here we go. All right. Oh, wait, that's something else. It's like a buff of some sort. It looks like a weapon up type thing. And the Odachi does so much damage. That delay is so sick. I was struggling there. The only thing is I need to change this. There we go. Very nice. Fugitive defeated. A lot of bosses in this. I like that there's, like, named enemies, too. Well, Jacobs is, like, a kind of a boss, I guess. Welcome. All right, bond level limit. Let's see. Welcome from both myself and the horses. So the collection rate. We've actually got 47% done of this area. We can find the cats. There's also treasure chests back there. Yeah, there's a lot going on. What's this icon? Hold on. The Black Jewel. Okay. Stolen statue. Let's just head this way. I've done a lot already. All right, so we got... Let's see what this icon I does. What kind of medicine do you seek? I would buy more of these. I really just want to save all my money right now. Just Dude, collect currency yourself. and chill. That's my goal right now. Explore the game, put the story, get natural upgrades and armor and stuff. Learn the game as I'm playing it. Just kind of go from there. 
this feels like the perfect time for this game to come out because it's just wild that like one of the best samurai shows ever made is like currently going on as I'm playing this. <laughs> All right, we got to be getting close. Hold on. So, is there anything? What is this? Hold on. Is this another one? At level eight. Who do they think I am? I wonder if it really makes any difference. Like the level. You know what I mean? Maybe it does. I guess I could always like try and find out, but I kind of don't want to yet. I'll definitely come back. They got to have stuff for you to come back. They can't just have everything easy from the jump. I just realized we've gotten a huge, wide variety of games this year. We had a pirate game, now we got a samurai game. A lot of other stuff too. I was like trying to go somewhere with that, but I didn't have anything else. <laughs> it's gotta be a cutscene right here, right? Or maybe it just like moves the marker, we'll see. All right, go to the castle. This area is huge. Look at that area. Like, the cool thing is you can see it in the distance, and I 100% know I can go there. Here's where we've already been. So, it, we did kind of go left. I think earlier on, I was like, we're just going to go straight up to the top. End of the game. Now we're going left, then we're going up. I do wonder how long this game actually is, like, main mission-wise. Let me, hold on. Let's do this first, just in case something pops up. Let me look around this because I could easily see like a chest back here. I do want to jump off this building though. <laughs> Just start flying around. All right, we're chilling. Hello there. Ah, oh, there you are. Now listen up. Here's the plan. Those bandits are holed up in the castle. If we march straight up to the front door, it will be suicide. Luckily, we can use my prototype to glide in from here. Once you are in there, you simply need to retrieve my blueprints. Shall we get started? Are you ready to take to the skies? Uh, let's get it. Marvelous. Now we just to relax. I've never tested it, but the science behind it is impeccable. I'm afraid I can't come to your aid if you are apprehended, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Best of luck. All right, battle preparation. This is the part of the game that reminds me of Neo. It's like it breaks into this uh, mission. You have to actually start up, which is kind of weird, I guess. Equipment. Let me just make sure I don't have anything that's actually better. Uh, we did get this. I'll go ahead and equip that one. I don't know why I have this on. I don't actually use a pole arm, but I just wanted to equip the highest thing I got. Oh, no, Dachi? Oh, my goodness. That thing has a lot of... <laughs> that has a lot. Uh, do I have the best rifle? I do not. There we go. Armor-wise, let's see what we got. So, I, I could see, even though the defense is 30, if I had something else, I could actually go along with that. Because right now, I got one piece currently equipped. If I put two, I get the martial, martial skill key attack. I mean, I could put that on, but I really just want to just go for, like, the higher number, really, which is silly. But, see, here's what's funny. I almost bought the one of these earlier that, so wait, the gear piece that's green also has gear sets? That's actually crazy. I didn't realize that. Uh, those are fine. These will be probably not top for a while. Coin acquisition. So, you can actually zoom magnification. Interesting. Why would that be a thing that's like a perk? I still like these two for dodging and counter spark. Anything that really stands out, I'll probably try. But most of these seem pretty straightforward. I don't want to like overdo it. Yeah, I think I'm fine here. Because I don't want to like get lost in the sauce, you know, and just start like equipping everything. We should be good though. So that must be the part where you can actually like match make with other people. Time for me to yes. yeah. All right, gliding. Man, this is awesome. Slow down, open, close wings. Got you. It's funny. I was gonna jump off this anyways, but here we are. I kind of want to land on the top area right here, if I'm allowed to. We'll see. 
They're going to spot me. What, you can do a gliding assassination? Hold on. Oh, I've seen it all. That's officially the best samurai takedown ever. You can wingsuit. I call it a wingsuit, even though it's not. That's just like the far cry in me. I don't know. They already see me. Let's bring it on. Let's go. We're in this together. This ends with a... Uh, so there's going to be a boss. We're looking for like a certain thing. The camera schematics. Hold on. Do I have to be locked on to actually counter that? It's like it's going past me. There we go. So my other stance is like neutral. The other one was like worse. Get over here. How you doing? Man, it's so sick. Oh, this game is just... I remember the first part when I was recording it, I was like, in my mind, I was thinking, this is a way better game than I was expecting. I don't know why. I just I, I knew it was like a Sony exclusive. It'll probably come out on PC down the road. I just was taken back by how cool it is. You know? I gotta imagine, like, in an open world type setting. <coughs> Alright, here we go. It's actually worse. So let's switch that. This is actually up. I always... That's delay right there. I might try the Odachi. This would be the first uh, major or whatever. Elite, major, whatever you're going to call it. Let's try this out. This does do a lot more damage. I wonder since... I do have something that like gives me health back when I'm out of combat. What happens if I walk over here? Like if I get far enough away, does it actually heal me? I'm just curious. No? Alright. Yeah, everything about this game is just kind of surprising because I guess you have to sacrifice maybe graphics when you're like doing an open world type game, is for the most part at least. That must be the other like foe or whatever. Uh The fact that there's like no damage fall off on that is insane. Who the hell are you? Trying to steal my treasure, are you? Nice. Largest enemy of the entire game. I legit just got whooped up on. Hold on. He's one of those. Oh god. Why is he so fast? Oh my. No! Oh my goodness! I don't really know what to do here because this guy is insane. Hey, you're not looking so good. I'm dead. I can't do any more revives, so I gotta just get out of here. I think. Hold on, let me switch. I'm gonna get back up here, and I'm actually gonna shoot him a few times. <laughs> oh no, he's coming after me. He's so fast. Come on, man. I'm just trying to heal. I could switch characters. Where's he going? This game got a little harder once I... Uh, it's like he knows I got a gun. <laughs> He's chilling. I'm worried, like, what if I, if I switch characters? Do I have hills? I don't know. Keeps moving. I'm fighting you. All right, I'm just gonna switch, or maybe not. Actually, let's see what he can do. Oh. Oh. I'm tempted just to like reset. Like if he kills me, he kills me type thing. Oh, 
Yeah, he keeps coming after me. Yeah, funny. Alright, that's fine. Hey, so far, not too bad, but can't do much yet. Hold on. Wait, what? A little pistol. That's actually kind of wild. Oh, I'm dead. That's fine. Out of my resetting. So I got absolutely wrecked right there. All right, so it actually puts you at, I guess, this banner, which I don't remember even getting, but I'll take it. Okay, so one of the foes is already gone. Wait, there's enemies behind me still. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just uh, take care of business. Okay, so I'm going to change stances. Then shoot the arrow. There we go. It's actually wild it does that much damage. I mean, it's a headshot, so it makes sense, but the fact that it's dependent on your stance is kind of funny. With an arrow, like, why would it actually matter? Who the hell are you? Trying to steal my treasure, are you? Let's see. Okay, the ultimate test. Can I deflect this? I can't even lock on. He's actually throwing stuff. The fact that he sidestepped a shot like that from that range is hilarious. That is insane. He does like that much range on that attack. Okay. Let's just get down there. Fight him again. Let's go, buddy. Out. Let me unlock. Hold on. Why is it not locking? There it goes. But I'm not done yet. A little bit of damage there. Vendetta satisfied. Okay, so if he kills you, you have like a vendetta against that enemy. Got you. Bring him over here. Okay. My, hold on. Where's my help at? Did my help get lost? I don't have like a LOS anywhere. Hold on. Did he fall over the edge or something? Oh, he's down there. He can't get up. <laughs> well. I missed that last one. How did I miss that? I'm wait, now he shows up. That's fine. This might be enough. Nice, let's go. Woo. Okay, that was very tough. I wasn't expecting to actually struggle like that. 
I'm gonna go touch the banner again. I don't know if there's like another fight about to happen because that was like just one of the basic foes. And usually in these types of missions, there's like an end boss. So let's go do this really quick. Oh, wait. It's saying one of two. It didn't. Maybe that wasn't. Where would the other foe be at? Because they're all spawning and that's fine, but the first one was like over here somewhere. I don't know. That is odd. I keep mashing the wrong button. Sorry, hold on. So that must have just been the boss. Because if that wasn't... Let me go find the other foe because I don't think they're supposed to have like... Might be in here. Hold on. Well, they would have heard all that fighting though, right? Oh, we got a chest. Hold on. Yeah, this game's a little tougher than I expected. <laughs> at least in that portion. So where exactly is the other foe at? Oh, there's like a little side area over here. Hold on. I want to get both of them if I can, just for like XP kind of. Possible skill points and everything. So there's a whole other section over here, got you. So that was actually the boss. That makes me feel a little bit better because I was legit struggling against that enemy. I don't know what it was, but I'm going to spot it, but it's all good. Here we go. Very nice. We'll fight this one head on. Whatever. Yeah, <laughs> So both are actually down, so if I change characters, I'm assuming... He only has one stance, so everything I do here is, like, worse. You can still do damage, which is kind of funny. Alright, gloves are off, let's go. I actually tried to parry that. Tried, I tried it again. I don't know. Should do it. Alright, two for two. I'm assuming we're probably fine. That was a rough area for sure. What is this? All right, we got both of them. We're chilling. It's crazy how the boss was just like right there. Just like roaming around with everybody else. Can you go up here? It's got like a roof area. Hmm. All right, we got to go head back. Come on. Over here. So you were spotted by the bandits, but still managed to prevail. Magnificent. I saw those wretches fleeing for their lives. Oh, my blueprints! Thank you! I was worried that those delinquents might have disposed of them. Now I'll finally be able to show the studio now what I can do. Here's the prototype I promised you. Take it. Uh, let's see. Let's do that one. Hold on, hold on. Make sure you use it. You hear? Your bounty are sound all around you. Now, I believe there's an elevated area in these grounds. Why not try taking a picture from there? Follow me. All right, we get the camera. Follow me. Let me rest at this banner really quick before. Actually, this no, we're be probably a fine, fine. Castle where the lords of Kira resided, but his best days are now behind it. Come on, over here. Very well. It's time to give that camera a go. Don't be shy. Ah, I know. The temple hall where we met is the perfect spot for success. 
All right. Impressive, no? Yet this is just the beginning. There are so many improvements I want to make. Ah, speaking of which, I must go. I have a camera I need to fix. <laughs> the fellow who runs that place has a temper, you see. Anyway, I'll be in Yokohama for a while. It's the place to be for anyone keen to learn more about foreign ideas and inventions. Remember, it's not just cameras I dabble in. If ever I can assist you in some way, just let me know. So I wonder, like, are there different paths for, like, a different ending, I wonder? Wonderful! I would be delighted to help. And I have a feeling you will put my devices to good use. I'm lodging in the photographic studio in Yokohama for the time being. Feel free to come and see me anytime. There are all sorts of improvements I want to make to that camera. So don't be a stranger, you hear? So it seems like main missions like that are like what really drive the story forward, I guess. I'm enjoying it for what it is. Okay. Let's see what's next. Mission complete. Locating the camera. Carry out the request. Okay. Been acquainted. Level one. So how far away is this? Hold on. I don't see like the main objective marker unless it's like hidden. Oh, it's over here. So I could just... It says it's level six. So I wonder if the game's like kind of warning you... Well, I'm playing level six. Okay, never mind then. Can I fast travel to any of these? I guess I could, but I'm wondering if I should run around the area first. Hold on. Move there instantly. Okay, they kind of want you to do that. Got you. I was going to just like run back, but <laughs> the game's like, yo, try out the fast travel. You'll like it. There we go. The cool thing is it doesn't last long. I remember back in uh, 2020 when Ghost of Tsushima actually dropped, they had to like nerf the loading screens because... For some reason or another, <laughs> it just would have tips you want to read, but you didn't have time to. All right, here we go. Well, I see you've acquired a camera. I knew I could rely on you. Now, if I may, I would like to ask you to take some photographs for me. Then I shall direct you to a number of rooms be sure to capture the sheer energy of this place. I will await you in the central room upstairs. Alright, touch the banner. Good there. So essentially, we have a camera equipped as another thing. Okay. I don't care about his glower. How important. Kind of just like spying, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we're chilling there. Oh, it's a cat. Wait a minute. Cat's sleeping. Once the alert is gone. Unless the cat's like above me. The icon keeps moving. Hold on. Oh, there's the cat. Do what you gotta do and just lay down, buddy. Did it just, like, go up? <gasps> we gotta wait for- I don't know if it's actually sleeping or not. Wait for the actual, like, thing to go all the way to, like, the bottom. Maybe we, like, see some Zs? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Broke everything in the room, but gotcha. All right, found more cats. We're chilling. I could literally do a video of me just like running around collecting stuff. <laughs> this game has that kind of potential.
So we're just taking pictures of all the different icons. Got we're basically like testing out the camera, which I'll probably never use after the actual, I guess, main missions go. You know. How do we get a picture of what's over here? Let's see. There's like a door. Maybe we can like climb out a window or something. Hold on, let me see. Hmm. You can't really do anything there. It's got to be up top. Got you. Hold on. Let's actually collect some stuff. Very nice. All right. Here's one. Got you. This is awesome. I really like games that just kind of like do random stuff like this. You know. So I'm assuming we go left right here and then it like loops around for the final area. Maybe? Hold on, let's see. There's a rat here. A rat just chilling. Am I technically supposed to leave this or not? Hold on. I don't think this is right. This doesn't feel right at least. Unless... No, let's hop back up. There's no way this is the right way. I'm assuming this is like how you sneak into the actual building. Okay, that's closed off there. So how do you get over there, I wonder? Maybe we go all the way this way? I don't have to really be stealthy because they already know I'm coming. This might be the way. Hold on. Oh! This is 100% it. Built up a stockpile. I thought you might appreciate a little extra. Hey, Alright, we got both rooms. Now what? Good. Go back. Port our findings. Got you. Yeah, I like this game a lot. It has potential to be one of those, like, maybe people don't receive it well at first, but, like, down the road it has, like, a following type thing. I can see that. I can also see you either love it or hate it. So far, it's like a love thing for me. I love samurai stuff and an open world game. Even if it's not perfect, like graphically and all that, it's got a little bit of stuff here and there that's not, you know, flawless in any way, but it's still better than like most games. Do I have this? Raise the banner. Hold on. You work fast. <laughs> you certainly know your way with a camera. Now, finally, I want you to go to the room down the hall. You will find a man named Kogoro Katsura there. He's rather intimidating, but I'm sure you can handle him. Leave it to me. Let's get it. Just make sure he doesn't notice you. I said you must be having. How are we going to get at Harris? If you have any ideas, speak up. <laughs> Did you get your picture? Huh? Who are you? Come to the garden now. Admit it. You're a spy for the Shogunate, aren't you? I'll cut you down. Uh. 
Fighting a drunk samurai. Here we go. We're kind of like a neutral fighting stance here. Hold on. This is too easy. I wonder if I change stances. Okay, that actually goes lower. I got you. Kind of like a neutral state right now. I almost feel like it's better to just like keep the pressure on. The Shogun's trained at Hoof Little Spy. Come on, buddy. Ow. Now you're in trouble. I almost like just want you to just like keep dodging and attacking at all times. Yeah, the delayed attack. This is why this fight is actually pretty crazy. It's because I'm probably dead here. Yikes. Kind of reminds me like the drunken master type stuff. Decent right now, but still not perfect. Hold on. Oops. The fact that this does like pretty good damage is kind of wild. There we go. <laughs> Gets the job done. You're not really trying, are you? Well, now it's serious. I'm about to unleash my most deadly technique. Uh. Well, well, look who it is. What uh, are you doing out here? Nothing important. Ah, oh no, did Katsura pick a fight with you? So you know him? Oh, I know him all right. This is the guy who's been helping me look for Master Showin. Katsura here is an old student, a close friend of his. <laughs> this guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. Oh, Ryan. I'm sorry. I had an important matter to attend to. <clears throat> All right. Back to the drinks. Next round on me. <laughs> I came to see what all the fuss was about, but I see it was you and Mr. Katsura. Would you join me in my chambers? There is something I wish to share with you. Oh, thank you. What a wonderful picture. I can almost feel the life of this place. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yes. The samurai who came aboard a black ship. When I last visited the American consulate, I heard an interesting tidbit. Apparently, that samurai is within the consulate itself. They say that samurai has a hand like a demon's claw and acts as Mr. Harris's personal guard. Who's Mr. Harris? Hold on, a demon's claw? I cannot imagine. It certainly doesn't sound natural. Now I think of it, Kichi is on rather good terms with Mr. Harris. It may be worth speaking to her later. You take splendid pictures. You can stand up to Katsura. Is there anything you can't do? 
While I do still have some requests for you, for tonight, please enjoy your time here. Every time we like increase a bond with somebody else, it actually like adds them to like some kind of entry thing. Yeah, here we go. All right, that was awesome. Mission complete. Hey. All right, bases and interactions. Let's see. First base, your base will serve as a meeting place for various characters. This game just keeps expanding. It's actually wild. What is like the next main thing? Hold on. Okay, it's going to be this. I'm not going to interact now. If I get close enough and it just auto does it, it is what it is. But I'm going to try to rest here and see if it'll... Because I feel like I don't want to start the next main mission just yet. But anyways, I'm going to stop here for now. Thank you all for watching. If you want more of this game, just keep it up. All the likes mean a lot to me. Uh, the support and everything just has been amazing so far. We're only at the third video. So love you all. Take it easy.